Hi, welcome to a brand new episode of Tomahawk and Stew Pitch a Podcast, a show where I, Tomahawk, and I, Stu, we pitch you ideas for podcasts, and then we improvise a scene of each show that we pitch. And some of the time, they are kind of almost funny. Like, they're, mm. they're like right mm. there. They're so close. And maybe one of these days, we're going to have a really funny episode. Will it be today? Probably not. But we'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll see. see. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to kick us off with uh, one of my favorite pitches I've ever come up with, Stu. By, by all means. Would you say is one of the most uh, popular shows of the past 10 years? It might not necessarily have been on for the full mm-hmm. past 10 years, but it's definitely just increased in popularity. Survivor. Yes. My parents have been watching Survivor recently. Dude, a lot like, of people are watching that again. What's, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right. The show, <laughs> I'm ta- the show I'm talking about is The Office. Oh, mm. okay. So what we are going to do is uh, we're going to have a show mm-hmm. where we pretend that we were two guys who were <laughs> on The Office and we're having a podcast about The Office and our time on The Office, but we weren't actually on The Office and the people oh. that were playing on the podcast no, they weren't actually on the office, and they're trying to fake their way through it. Okay. Uh, so go ahead, Stu, kick us off. Hey guys, welcome back to the office, not the show, but the podcast. Uh, we, as you know, this is not our first episode. As you know, mm-hmm. me and my buddy Greg here, we've been on, we have been on the office, and uh, seeing as how we were on the office, we decided to use that fame to get a podcast kicked off, and boy, has it not. Hi, but, you I'm, know, I'm Greg. I'm Greg Daniels, <laughs> co-creator of The Office. Yep, great Greg Daniels, co-creator. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was I was in a few. I was in a lot of the episodes. Mm-hmm. I was I was the actor. You so. played Daryl, right? <laughs> That's a season one Michael <laughs> joke, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. It is. It is me, Craig Robinson. I got a haircut. That's why I don't look familiar. You know, yeah. time changes us. You know. It it does. It does. I'm, I've only ever made like you know background cameos in the office. So mm-hmm. if you don't like fully recognize me, that's probably why. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what episode of the office are we talking about today? We're talking Craig? about uh, season five, episode seventeen. Michael and Pam continue their branch tour. Mm-hmm. Jim and Dwight try to fulfill their party planning duties. Mm-hmm. Angela's new cat causes a commotion. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. This was a good one. Yeah. You know, it's kind of crazy that you and I haven't talked about this kind of surface level office uh, stuff before. Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite character on The Office? You know, I've got to say. And don't say your <laughs> character. It's a bit conceited. Ah, oh, dang. You, you beat me to it. All I right. know. I'm, I'm really a Toby guy. Toby's great. Toby uh, or not Toby. <laughs> you really got to give it to Toby for going through everything he does. <laughs> um, and he and he really does go through it. I feel bad for him, and I'm a little sad mm-hmm. that we didn't give him a happy ending at the end of the series. Uh, so, when Michael and Pam are on their branch tour, what's your favorite stop that they, uh, you know? You to? know, I liked it when they went to upstate New York. Um, uh, uh, they went to to Albany. Rare thing. Uh, a lot of people forget that for this episode, I actually went there with Jim and Pam. It was the three mm-hmm. of us. I'm sure there'll um, be photos up on on screen. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. have photos right right there. There's me, Jim, and Pam just yep. all riding together to to Albany. They they actually made us drive all the way up from Scranton, Ohio. You were to Albany. I, I didn't realize that they were filming in Scranton for realsies on that day. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh well, yeah, the whole show was in Scranton. Yeah, yeah, it's set in Scranton, but we didn't film in Scranton all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, So you just mean from, like, the Scranton set? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, all right, I follow you. I know we shot some stuff back in Scranton, but it wasn't, Mm -hmm. like, the whole show was, like, filmed in Scranton. It's like like how Always Sunny in Philadelphia isn't always in Philadelphia. Yeah, also a good show. Hey, Craig. um, Hey. hey. What's the name of that city? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Can you say the name of that city for me one more time? Uh, F- Phil- Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Phil- Philadelphia? Wow, Stu, what a great show. <laughs> Wait, what was wrong with how I said Philadelphia? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? What do you mean? Is that not how you say it? It's Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Delph. Dolph. D- Phil- Delph. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Is it not Philadelphia? No. <laughs> What's your first pitch? 
We're going to talk about pie. I love pie. Oh, yeah. Me too. Uh, go ahead and lead us off, bud. Hello. Welcome to a show all about pie. The math thing. 3.14159265358979323384. Sure, yeah. You could have made that up. <laughs> I'm not going to fact check it. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, Stu, this was a bad show. <laughs> yeah, no, we d- we talked about pie for all of two seconds. <laughs> uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to redo this. Okay. And it's going to be about the baked good. We're going to okay, talk about. Because that's pies. what I kind of wanted to do. I know. Like, I just we're not th- doing that. And I'm like, just have gonna... to show, show off how much of pie I know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that flex, to be, to be fair. No one is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't expect the black guy to know math. Here we go. Going back into a different pie podcast. Why, hello there. Welcome down to the, the, the pie. I Welcome feel to pie. <laughs> Welcome to pie, a show where we talk about pie. The best pies that you could eat, the best pies you could bake, the best numbers in, in the alphabet. That's what this show is about. And today, <laughs> is there something you want to say? <laughs> You're looking no, like you want to say no, something. The, the accent actually justifies what you said. <laughs> Today, joining me is Philip Reginaldo <laughs> J. Reginaldo. How are you today, sir? <laughs> well, I'm quite good. I'll tell you what, I just had some pie and it was beautiful. Terrific. What kind of pie did you have? I had sweet potato pie. Ooh, it yummy. Was, oh, so yummy. I love a good sweet potato pie. Best pie for Thanksgiving, sweet potato. Um, mm. I'm I'm conflicted on that notion. Y- you shouldn't be. It's a bit of an underdog. I really like a uh, I really like a uh, butterscotch butterscotch pie. For Thanksgiving, I had it for Thanksgiving this year for sure. I I didn't. I've never had a butterscotch pie. But I love butterscotch. Mm-hmm. Butterscotch mm-hmm. is my favorite candy. It's, it's a good like candy. Flavor, flavor of candy. For sure. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to try that. What would you say is your favorite pie to bake? Ooh, my favorite pie to bake has got to be a shepherd's pie. Ooh. It's just so it's just so savory and meaty and thick. That's when you kill a shepherd. <laughs> yes. And bake yep. his body into a pie. Mm-hmm. Sweeney Todd mm-hmm. style. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that movie. Walk us through uh, your recipe real fast, why don't you? <laughs> well, you see, you take one shepherd and then one sweet potato pie and you kill the shepherd and then eat the sweet potato pie <laughs> perfect that's, that's a perfect way to eat a pie what about now, you what 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 kind of pie if you if you could make a pie right now what would it be i like a chocolate pie Ooh, but they make they make me nervous ever since i saw the movie the help <laughs> I, I never i never saw that movie do you know the bit i'm talking about <laughs> no all I know is that there's black people in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you started talking uh, about chocolate pie and how it makes you nervous. It makes me nervous because in that movie, spoilers for a movie that came out over 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, I think that's true. If not, there, there might be an edit cut on the screen. It's, it's probably like a two, 2013 film. Who I knows? don't know. Who cares? We, uh, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Our viewers haven't seen The by Help the either. Side, <laughs> you can tell by my dialect I do not care about the movie The Help. <laughs> in that movie a woman uh who uh works for a uh, middle class white woman mm-hmm. a, a a black woman working for the white woman uh, she she quits her job mm-hmm. by uh giving the white woman a pie that has her feces baked into it too bad it wasn't jennifer lawrence crime shame crime shame now, I, I do have one more thing I want to talk about. Now, this All is right. a heated discussion okay. that is uh, frequent and recurring on this podcast. Question being, how do you feel about mm. pizza being called a pie? Well, you know, it's got it's got the crust that goes on the side and underneath, and you do bake it, on, you know, in a stove. I don't see why it can't be called a pie. I mean, I understand that technically it is a pie, but it's in the same way that a tomato is a is a fruit. Well, I mean, fruits are just vegetables, so. <laughs> I hate this show. <laughs> I hate being Sorry, alive. You, I you hate being the... alive almost as much as I hate the movie The Help, a movie I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Wow, Steve, what a great show. <laughs> I like that little one, actually. <laughs> I had to flex more of my, uh, my pie knowledge on you <laughs> of the fact that vegetables actually include fruit in their, uh, their grouping. This, mm-hmm. The black guy's actually pretty learned. All right, so I have a pitch <laughs> for a show that takes place in a uh, post-zombie apocalypse. My favorite. Um, I want to play a character who is a sort of uh, Logan Paul type. And he's trying to get his uh, podcast off the ground. He's trying to get clout because he believes the zombie apocalypse is going to end any day now. But it just gets real like apocalyptic and Walking Dead-esque and people Mm -hmm. like turning on each other and bloody uh, Hmm. like in the background and around him. But Mm -hmm. he's just like, no, I'm sure it'll work itself out any day now. And I think that uh, that'll be for a fun show. All right. All right. All right. All right. Lead us off. What's up? It's me, your boy. Boy. My name's Boy. <laughs> I'm non-binary, but my name's Boy. Your parents are way off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my podcast. It is Boy Howdy. My last name's Howdy. The podcast. Episode 37. And with me today is Clint. How are you, Clint? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm doing so good, man. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you want to tell the listeners what kind of environment we're in? Uh, yeah, I killed my son yesterday. Okay, I meant more like the building that we're oh. in. Oh, the building. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, my son used to go to school here. We're, we're oh. currently at his elementary school. Cool, cool. Yeah, um, um, not his elementary school anymore. His former elementary school. Sure. Did he graduate? No, I killed him. Okay. Uh, was he a zombie? Uh, he was gonna be, yeah. Was he bitten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, I, I, if you he think hadn't I just been killed, bitten, that's just a very <laughs> bleak thing to say. So he's not like in zombie form right now. He's like dead, dead. Oh no, he's actually dead, dead. Okay, yeah. cool. Is there like any way I could get like a vlog with his body in the background? <laughs> would that be cool? If I if I vlogged with your son's would, dead, would, dead body, would it be would it be cool? No. I feel like it'd pick up some traction. I think some people would definitely have, you know, feelings. I feel like it would cause a lot of issues for about three months, and then no one would talk about it ever again. Except two guys on a podcast that doesn't matter some point in the future. Yep. But my podcast matters. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, and part of why it matters is I'm building a team, a zombie apocalypse team. Oh. A team of 10 people, let's say. Hmm. Um, do you want to be on my team of 10 people? Who, who else do you got? <laughs> All right. So there's this guy named Rodney. He has rods in his knees. It makes it very hard for him to walk. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of waddles like a penguin, but the rods are really sharp and pointy. And so if there's zombies coming at him from the front, they can't like get around the rods so he can kind of just poke because the rods are really are the long rods, are the rods just sticking out yeah 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 <laughs> like 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 spikes. like a javelin <laughs> yeah he waddles but if zombies are coming straight at him they can't really get to him unless they go in between the rods or around the rods he needs to fire his doctor i mean you know his doctor <clears throat> died so he just kind um, of out here doing lot, his best a lot of people died mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty tragic, pretty bleak. Mm-hmm. So that, he's one of them. I only got uh, three other guys, and and one girl. So, oh, yeah. oh no. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you want to know who the girl is? Absolutely. It's your mom. Boom. Got him. Catch you guys on the next episode of Boy Howdy's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what a great show. <laughs> That was so good. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I think in the middle, I was accidentally too professional. (laughs) Okay, Stu. uh, Yes. Is there anything you want to plug, my good man? Let's see. I've got Twitter, StuWu underscore 12. Please come interact with me on Twitter. I don't use it enough as it is. I need some interaction to actually, you know, use it. I'll post memes. Um, I've got YouTube. I'm going to start doing YouTube here in a few weeks. Uh, then I've got my Twitch going to start doing that too. Cause I need to get into the scene a bit. Uh, and we got D and I'm doing a D and D podcast. It's a lot of fun. I hope you, I hope you'll check it out and enjoy it. But yeah, that's all for me. That's pretty cool and good. I like oh, it. Oh yeah. I've also been thinking about doing Twitch stuff. Is there something you'd like to see me do on Twitch? Hit me up. Let me know.
Also, uh, recently, I put out a uh, rock music EP. It's called Nice to Hear, Sad to Write. It's not funny. It's not silly either. But it is something I put a lot of work into. I am playing all the instruments on the EP. I uh, recorded it, mixed and mastered it myself. They're all original songs. And it's really cool to have something out there that is entirely me. Because I can't stand the input of other people. Yes, I was not invited to help with this. Indeed. (laughs) Uh, Please check out our Patreon. Where uh, you can support us for as little as $1 a month. And it really helps us out. Recently, we uh, just hit the threshold for where we're no longer bleeding money for the podcast every month. Mm -hmm. So everything from here on, we can put towards bettering the podcast. Oh, yeah. Such as uh, we've already been able to get Stu uh, some new lights. You see one in my eye there, one up there, and one right there. And we are also able to get him a uh, new microphone set up. It's true. And yeah, I think like if you look at where the show started and where we're at right now, I think the difference is pretty immense. Hi, if you are checking out the video version of this, there will be an extended audio version that will come out the day after this comes out and it'll be full of extra gags and goofs and whatnot. It'll feel like a different experience. I promise. (laughs) Okay, Stu, let's get that one last pitch. All right. We didn't tell you guys this at the beginning, but this is the final episode of the podcast. Uh, So we're going to talk for a little bit about the end and what the future may hold for us or for you even. Uh, Mm -hmm. So Tom Hawk, do you want to lead us into that real quick? Sure. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for um, joining us one last time Mm -hmm. uh, for the last episode of the podcast. And uh, I didn't introduce the name of the podcast. That's silly. Uh, This is the Office Ladies podcast where I, Jenna Fisher, and (laughs) don't be shy. Don't be shy, Angela Kenzie. Is that her actual name? Your actual name, you silly goose. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just been so long. I I got lost in the character. You're just kind of overwhelmed by... (laughs) by the podcast and the sort of finality of it i understand um you know it's been it's been a very it's been a very fun 10 years of this podcast it seems that life is taking us in different directions um and it feels good to end it on on our note on on Mm -hmm. you know our terms indeed Um, i'm really glad that people have come out and they've uh, been supporting us and i just wanted to give you something to think about in the future whenever you're watching The Office from here on. Mm-hmm. Pam, 100%, had an affair with Daryl. And to come on and uh, prove that, we have Daryl himself, Craig Robinson. Come on. Hey, guys. How you doing? <laughs> I, I've always thought it was a shame that Daryl and Angela didn't have more screen time together. So, you know what? I'm going to leave the room. What would a scene look like if it was just you two locked in a room? Okay. I can't wait to hear this in the edit. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, uh, goodbye for the last time. Farewell. I love you. The office. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, Angela. Hi, Daryl. Um, it's me, Craig Robinson. Yeah, you, you, you've been here the whole time. Hey, I just wanted to say that that night we spent together on the set of Scranton, uh, New York, uh, it was beautiful. And I want to do it again tonight. Oh, okay. But we gotta call up Dwight's actor. I can't remember Dwight's name because all I know of him is Dwight. We gotta make him watch because he likes to watch. Um, I don't know why Tomahawk made me do this all by myself. Um, what else can I talk about? I watched that movie in Kanto last week. It was pretty good. As you know, because you can notice that like Disney movies recently have kind of been a little bit lackluster or not even there. Like uh, Mulan was really bad. Um, Wiz Dragon kind of went under the radar, but I heard it was pretty good. Oh, look, okay, so his name now. is Rain Wilson. <laughs> I left you to do this because I thought it'd be fun to just screw you over. And were you listening this whole time? Uh huh. Goodbye. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Podcast.